Hello everyone and welcome to Family Four Crafts. Today I'm going to show you how to make these really cute adorable folk cookie boxes. As you can see there are some cookies inside. Um, I actually designed the cookies myself so I will have those in a different video. Um, but today I just want to show you how to make these really cool boxes. Really cute, easy to make, not really hard at all. And as you can, like I said, you can see I have my own little creation of cookies. Um, I found the cookie boxes and whatnot in Cricut Design Space. So if you just go to all categories and search for felt cookies, it will say felt cookies playset. And it will come with their kind of cookies, which I'll have another video on, plus the box as well. So that's why I want to show you how to make these really cute, adorable cookie boxes. What you will need is a 12 by 24 car stock, which you can find on the Cricut site itself. I normally wait until they have the good sales going on. Um, and then your two mats, your 12 by 12 and 12 by 24 green mats. You can use whatever mat you want. The acetate, which is a uh, clear plastic part it's going to go right here as you can see um that's a little window for it Oops. um vinyl and then some more just like a little 12 by 12 cardstock which i'll kind of show you a little trick to that one so we are going oh and also you will need your hot glue gun your weeder so you can weed out the sticker part there is another part that goes that goes underneath this part right here I'm not a big fan of it, because when you when the Cricut cuts it out, it literally cuts out like the actual where it says cookies right here, where you can see the blue. It will cut out that part too, so to me it makes kind of no sense. So all I really did was just cut out a little piece of cardboard uh, cardstock and just kind of made it myself, which I will show you that. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I already had everything cut out. <clears throat> So, and when you actually have your Cricut machine cut these out, watch the material um, options because it, yeah, I kind of had a few mistakes myself and did that. So here's the top, which I'll show you how to do. So this is the top of the box. So as you can kind of see, there is some little pieces right here. So that's where you're actually going to fold. So I would like to do is I always like to start on one end and fold it in. And you're just going to do this all the way around. And you're just going to kind of fold this. Okay, my line's not that great. Trying to make some good lighting here. Um, but yeah, just fold it all the way around with the, where the creases are that your scoring wheel created. And we're going to do this for both the top. So, when you come to the edges right here, you'll see like that little scoring line right here. I don't fold it in. There's a specific reason why, because when you fold it in, it... Wait, I think I did it with my red box. It was one of my boxes that I did. Um, it just kind of made it a little harder for it to work that way. So again, just... Fold it all the way around. And we're going to do the same thing with the bottom piece as well. So you have your top piece folded in, so I'm going to go ahead and grab my bottom piece and we're just going to fold these real quick. And again, where you see the scoring lines, you want to fold those in. Alright, <clears throat> so once you have all that folded in, as you can tell, sorry, it's kind of, my lane is not so great. Um, but yeah, once you have all those folded in, got those folded in, we're going to glue this, these sides down first. So yes, I'm kind of starting with the bottom of the box to glue in, because the other one's a little bit more to it. So I just take my hot glue gun, um, yeah, I can kind of see better days, but it still works. 
Um, but you can all, you don't have to use a hot glue gun. You can use um, the car stock glue that I've seen around. But I just like to use a hot glue gun. So you're going to do a little bit of dab, not much. And take this corner. Make sure that flap is in. And just press down without burning your finger off. And then just come push down there. So, this little flap that you see right there. Sorry, my fingers are kind of in the way. We will glue that down a little later. So, you're going to try and do the same thing on this side. Just glue it down. And keep make sure the edges are to each other. And, yeah. Got a lot of the hot glue sticks. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side as well. Just glue both sides down. Like I said, easy, fun project to do. Great for Christmas presents or birthday or whatever you decide you want to do. And normally I like to kind of push inside when I have the hot glue still pretty kind of warm. And then, so those little flaps that I told you, that I kind of told you about. Sorry, it's kind of hard to see. So those, let's see if I can get a good angle of this. But yeah, those little flaps right there, I don't really bother gluing them down. Because all you're going to do is just glue the top part. So, just a little dab here. And a little dab there. And make sure you hold these down. Now to your edges. And you're almost done with your bottom part of your box here. Yeah, these things do get kind of toasty hot. And again, I just kind of push down, make sure that the edges are good. Try to get all that access string of my hot glue that likes to go everywhere. And then there is your first box. The bottom part of the box that you made. Very easy, quick, and simple. With this, you can do this multiple ways to do the top of the box. I like to get the, the um, acetate in first, which I will show you. So you can get this, again, off the Cricut site if you want. Um, but I also got the Nate off brand, which I'll have the link below. So what I like to do, and with acetates, you can get actually four of these to a sheet if you measure it just correctly. Um, so what I like to do is I like to measure it in first before anything else. I've done this in multiple ways, and I just kind of... Start to hot glue in, and of course you have to be kind of quick with hot glue. And then I just push down, making sure the hot glue is in there. And so you got one side done. And then all you do is just lift this up. Same thing, just glue. And try not to be, and be careful not, try not to burn your fingers if you can. But there is your acetate in there. Of your plastic sheet, I should say. <clears throat> Alright, so we're going to go ahead and get going on the corner. So what I like to do is, I like to try and measure this out as much as possible.
So these little tabs, you will glue these ones in. So I like to try to measure out as best as possible. So I always do like a little dab on the each little tab here. Oops. And then brush one side in. And then I do the other side. So I'm kind of having my thumbs kind of holding in one of the pieces and my fingers kind of holding the other. And there's one of your corners. So you're going to do the same thing for the other three sides. Again. A little dab. And a little dab. And then, yeah. So, we're going to do the other two corners. And I'll show you how to do the signage. And then you're practically done. This is, a very, like I said, this is a very quick and easy little project. To do. And there is the top of your oh, some stuff on my plastic cart. There go. And there's your little window, yeah, glued in. So what I like to turn and do, since I don't like the one part that one part that cuts out, is I like to go ahead and take some cardstock and kind of just like wing it. I kind of measure it, like how much to use for the circle part. So right in here, I said well, I'm going to put some. It's not going to be huge, and it's not going to be too, hopefully not too small. And I like to try to color coordinate it. But in my look right now, eh, it's not happening. So I get to the best that I can. And then what I like to do is measure. I know this is not going to be like the best. That's not gonna be the best part, but that's what I kind of do is I just kind of like measure it, measure it out, and then and put it on that way, and then you have your little cookie thing, and you just place this right on top of there. It really goes right in. This folds in. Oh, it's kind of crazy. Goes up and you kind of fold in. Here you have and there you have your cute little cookie box for your cookies. I hope this tutorial helps. I will have my cookies that I designed myself and also the ones from Cookie Design Space in my other videos that I will be posting here. So I really hope this tutorial helped you out. I hope this is a fun project for you as much as it is for me. So go ahead and like, subscribe, comment below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.